winter's drawing in, it's getting really cold. We've not had a full freeze yet, so it's time to check the antifreeze on the car. Make sure that it's up to scratch and we're not going to get any nasty problems when it freezes. Let's show you how to check it. Now, two ways. We can use a antifreeze tester, namely one of these. Get on yourself on uh, Amazon. They are about seven, seven ninety nine, seven pound in that region. Uh, you can test it correctly with one of them. Or there is another way. I'll show you a little tip how to check antifreeze with no special tools. Um, just using stuff you'll find around the house. Okay, so on the three series, well, on most of these BMWs, you've got the black tank on the side. Some of them are situated in top of the radiator on the earlier models, but they've all seemed to have gone to this system now, where it's a separate um, expansion tank on the top. So, as long as the engine's cold, there's no pressure in this top hose here, if it's nice and squidgy, then uh, we'll take the top off. Okay, top's off. We've got this little level thing on this. The little level indicator comes up. We want that out the top there. We know we're up to level. Right, and so we've got the antifreeze tester. Let's pop that in there. Give it a squeeze. Draw some fluid up. And on that we have five balls floating. So we've got minus 37 degrees, which is pretty damn good. I'm pleased with that. If you haven't got an antifreeze tester and you still want to give it a go, what do you need? You need an old drinks bottle. An old drinks bottle, the good old turkey baster, or a straw. So um, what we're going to do is uh, just draw some of this fluid out of the tank just by putting the straw in, put your finger over the top, draw some out and pop it into the bottle. We don't need a massive amount. There we go. We've got a nice sample there. We'll pop the top back on that. I'm going to drop that in the freezer. Right, so we've got the trusty old chest freezer in the garage. And uh, let's just have a little look at this. So just to prove to you what I'm saying, uh, I know it needs a bit of defrost on it. It's a bit, uh, it's got a bit <laughs> we like a bit of ice in this freezer, don't we? So if I pop this on, and was that into the freezer you can see there can you see there you see that we're running there at minus minus 24 degrees minus 25 degrees so she's pretty cold in there bottle of antifreeze in she goes half an hour we'll leave that in there for half an hour we'll come back and check it all right let's have a look then see what's up to this well, as, as we thought, absolutely fine, look. Absolutely fine. Not frozen at all. So, uh, that's good news. So, yeah, everything's great with that. It's nice. It's not frozen. It stayed nice. It uh, stayed true to what we want. Um, we'll get that back in there. Up to, uh, don't want to waste it, do we? If it was slightly weak, what we can do is draw out a litre out of this tank either just using the extractor here we can just keep drawing it out and squirting it away into a bucket and then fill it with neat antifreeze that would bring your, your concentrate back up again or if you're really keen and you wanted to drain the whole system down you can pop a hose off the bottom drain the complete system and then refill it with fresh not necessary really not necessary all you need to do is top it up this stuff lasts for ages and because it's this new the new pink uh, red antifreeze it's long life um, it's got an anti-corrosion element to it so it's not like in the old days where everything would go all brown and horrible and um, we don't get that anymore. Level's good so we can pop the top back on. Make sure it's 
sure that's down all the way. The reason being we can't do this with a hot engine. These are running at 90 to 110 degrees and obviously water's boiling point is 100 degrees and if you take this top off the, the, the coolant inside gets back to atmospheric pressure and will blow in your face um, give you some nasty burns. So always make sure that the engine's cold before we take the top off. But, uh, I hope that's been of use to you. Um, if it has, just drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe and thanks for watching.